Hi there, I'm Nixie, and today we're going to be looking at miniature instruments. So, the other day I was visiting my parents, and I remembered I do actually still have some stuff that I just never took when I moved out, and I knew I had these. So I bought these ages ago, probably over ten years ago. Um, it was a winning bid on eBay for a job lot of miniature instruments. I got them essentially just because they were cute. I like minis, I saw them, liked them, bought them, and I don't even think they were that expensive. At that time I definitely wouldn't have paid very much. I think maybe even like £20 for the whole lot of these, which is a pretty good deal. So I thought today we could have a look at them and see if any of these will be suitable for the Barbies. Because whilst I am not musical in the slightest, that doesn't mean my Barbies might not have musical aspirations. So let's have a look at these and see if any of them work. Now I'm going to divide looking at them into three groups. So these two are guitars, these three are stringed instruments, and these three are woodwind slash brass. Um, I've also got two other instruments which I've bought off Amazon, which are 1-6 scale. So we'll have a look at those compared to these because like I said, these were just like a job lot I bought, they weren't a Pacific scale. We're just having a look if they actually fit the Barbies. Our model for today is Penelope, and we're going to use her to see the scale if it looks good against Barbie. I'm starting up with the two guitars, mainly because I'm pretty sure these are too small, but let's get them out of the way. So first up, we have this guitar. So it's quite nice, it's got like metal strings, quite a classical looking guitar. But, like I said, definitely too small for Barbie. Nice, but maybe 112 scale rather than 16. Next up, we have this one, which, bubble up there, is again pretty small. It's nice, it's just standard style guitar, but teeny on a Barbie. But if I ever wanted to go into 112 scale, then we've already got some instruments that are going to be suitable. Moving on to the brass slash woodwind, inside this one we have a trumpet. It's quite nicely detailed. It does have like a little loop there, so I don't know if it's maybe meant to be more of an ornament, a hanging decoration, or if that is something that trumpets have. maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not musical, I don't know musical instruments very well, so I'm not sure if that's something that would be on a trumpet or not. But it's nice. And I'm not sure. It would help if I was musical and knew the scale of things. I think it looks a little bit big, to be honest. Like, the mouthpiece sort of fits over her mouth quite well. But I don't know, maybe that's the right size, but for me I'd have thought it would maybe be about that long. It's a potential. You can think about it. Next up, this box, and inside is a French horn. I do like these models, I do think they're quite sweet. Like they've got a reasonable amount of detail, or like the curly wires. And let's have a look. It's this again, it's like the lip piece definitely looks like it would probably be a good size. I mean, I think French horns are quite big, so again, like the trumpet, possibly that could work. I'd probably need to actually look at some photos and just double check if the scale suits, but yeah, potentially the dolls could start a brass band. Last up for this set we have a saxophone. Now, I mean, saxophones are just cool, aren't they? And it's pretty nice, like I said, there's a lot of detailing on it. And just in case anybody was thinking, whilst it's made of brass, these do count as woodwind. I think it's because you changed the reed. Like I said, I'm not musical, but I've got some basic knowledge. Um, I'm also aware saxophones do actually come in different sizes, so I think the smallest one's an alto saxophone, maybe? 
and there's like a soprano and I think there's maybe it's bass please do correct me if you know better I'm just like I said I know there are more than one size depending on like the smallest ones you get higher pitch and the bigger ones you get deeper but let's have a look mm, I don't know I think you probably could get away with that in shots I think the um mouthpiece does look quite big for her I'm not sure but I think you could if you were holding that it would definitely look fair like it sort of looks a bit tall I don't know why you I scale wise it almost looks like it should come about here the top bit so I'm, I'm sure it is scaled properly it's just sometimes how things look in small when you're representing them doesn't always equate to how things are in real life like you can sort of get away with slightly dodgy scales I think when you're doing photos and you've got to go by what looks good in the photo as opposed to maybe what's accurate but yeah you could definitely if she's holding that she could look like a saxophonist I think it's kind of cool so Last set of the ones I bought years ago, and um, we're up to the string instruments, classical ones. And inside here, we have a cello. Bit of a tight fit there. And I've just lost the... pop that back in. The little bass there. And they come with bows, which I personally think is adorable. I think these are quite nicely made. They are quite realistic looking. I'm not sure, is the bow maybe a little bit big? I don't know, I feel that maybe the bow is a bit big for it. Please do comment if you know if that's accurate sizing for cello or not. See, I always thought cellos, if we're doing one six scale, would be a bit bigger. I've definitely seen a cello up close before. I don't remember what the bow looks like, but I've definitely seen the jello, and I'm pretty sure it's a fair bit bigger. So, maybe not right for Barbie, probably again the 112 scale instead. But, like I said, I like it, it's cute. Moving down a size, we have a violin. So, again, it's got the bow, and it's quite nice. Maybe the um, this bit looks a little bit cheap. You know, just like a little bit of wood. I don't know. Do, surely it's nicer than that on a violin. Surely they don't just have like a really cheap looking bit of wood. But from the front, you wouldn't really know. And I reckon this probably is going to be a good size. Definitely a different scale to the cello. Like I said, cello surely should be a lot bigger than that. And I reckon, isn't there, I don't know, is it not a violin? Like surely it should have a chin rest. But except if we try and get her to vaguely look like she's holding it. I think that's a nice size. And said, so let's get her hand. Okay, yeah, I reckon that would work. As long as that is a violin and not meant to be something else. We definitely, we can use that. Someone could be a violinist. Finally, the smallest box, and inside is a viola. Or if that wasn't a violin, this is probably the violin. But let's go for viola, because that's a smaller violin and this is a small one. And here we go. Like I said, this one, this one does have a chin rest, which I don't know why the other one didn't. That's why I'm sort of worried that it wasn't a violin. It does have this plain bit of wood again. Like I said, maybe that is how violins are. I'll have to look at some pictures. And again, we have the bow. The wire is a little bit, I don't know poking out, maybe need to be finished off neater, but I suppose if you do just twist like the strings up like that, it probably would have little bits flicking out. So let's try that with Penelope. And 
Oh, come on, let's get your hand vaguely in a good position. Get you holding the bow. And there we go. But that's not too bad. Like I said, I'm in the assumption it's a viola. It would be quite small. So, I like these ones. I, I do think they're cute. So we have some sort of a band. It's now got brass, it's got strings. I think we're doing well. Overall, for those instruments that I just bought many years ago with no real like aim in mind, I I think they're quite good. We've, we've definitely got some that I think would work with the Barbies. Some clearly wouldn't, but you know, most of them I think we could kind of use. And therefore, if my Barbies express any interest in playing an instrument, we have some options for them, which I think is always nice. But now I think we should move on to the two that I bought from Amazon that specifically said they were 1-6 scale. And I'm just going to make a point of that. They said they were 1-6 scale, but both of them I might have issues with. So let's take a look. First up is this one. This one is a guitar. Because, like I said, I knew that those other two guitars were going to be too small, and I thought it'd be really nice to have a guitar for the Barbies. But, you're going to see why I was a bit disappointed when I opened this up. Now, I paid about £17 for this, and... wrong way. It's huge. And it does come with a little stand, which... A nice little extra, but yeah, it's really big. So now I'm questioning are Barbies not 1 6 scale, or is this not 1 6 scale? Because one of them is lying to me, and honestly, I am pretty disappointed because I thought a pink guitar would be very cool for Barbie, and now it's not very usable. I mean, I feel this might look better with like, is it 18 inch dolls? I mean, I've not actually seen an 18 inch doll, so I'm, I'm not going to say that for sure. Because I'd, I'd need to have one here to give a good size comparison, but it's certainly not fitting with a Barbie. So yeah, that was a bit of a dud. Wasted purchase, probably shouldn't be trusting descriptions. The final item I actually did buy for a Pacific Barbie, so this is £10 on Amazon and I will bring that Barbie out in a moment but we'll keep Penelope for now because we're using her as our sort of test sizer. So this is a microphone and stand. Let's get them out. The microphone, it's brass coloured with the sort of silver mesh and the stand again brass coloured but you can actually Pull this bit up to make it a little bit longer. So my issue with this is it's maybe a little short. Let's just bring it to the front and this is it, it, it's coming up to a sort of middle. Like microphone stand needs to be a bit higher, a bit nearer our lips, so maybe not great for the 1-6 scale on the stand but the microphone itself that's a bit huge like so it's sort of a bit of awkward like the stand's too short but the microphone's too big it doesn't really balance out but let me just get out Ruby who I did buy this for now Ruby I decided was a singer she just had that energy about her and as a petite Barbie the height it's not as bad as with the standard size Barbie. You could get away with it. It's sort of a pity that the mic stand doesn't sort of, you can't angle it as well. Because if it sort of had a little hinge, you could sort of angle it a bit more so it was facing upwards rather than sort of at, like her neck. So, a bit annoying. But I mean, the main thing is, it is huge. I know you can get quite big mics, but your standard sort of like mics singers use tend to be a lot smaller than this. So I just think she'd look a bit silly holding it. I mean, maybe, maybe you can make it work? In photos, maybe it wouldn't look 
I don't know. Like I said, I'm just a bit disappointed. The two items that I bought that were supposedly one six scale, they just aren't. Or like, like I said, someone's lying to me. Either Barbie isn't one six scale, or both those items aren't one six scale. And as I said, this has two different issues. It's big and small. The stand's small and the mic's big. So I don't even know what's going on with that. But, I mean, really, I technically did better with the random job lot of instruments I bought all those years ago. I never bought them as a specific scale. Like I said, I just liked them because they were miniature and they were a good price on eBay. So I grabbed them. And as we've seen, like obviously the guitars didn't work, the cello didn't work, but the others, all of the others, I think, you know, they could have done. So what's that? So we've got the trumpet, French horn, saxophone, viola and violin. Mm, not too bad. So that's sort of five that worked, three that didn't. Like I said, for stuff I had already... I'm I'm quite pleased with that, and I think we need to find out. Like I'll have to just go around seeing which dolls seem to suit an instrument because, like I said, I have no musical talent, but I think it'd be nice. You've got to live vicariously through your dolls, so definitely some of them should have some musical talent. And I'll probably leave it there. I have managed to find some insurance for the dolls, so it's nice that we've now started getting some hobbies for them. So. If you'd like to see more videos where I try and find miniatures that will work with Barbie, please do subscribe. And if you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. I'll see you all next time. Bye!